What's the fourth point on the crown? Style, success, scholarship, and service. It's about serving other people. We all have the opportunity to do that. How do you serve others? What does service mean? Who knows? Yes. Helping others. Right. Yes. To give others what they need? Yes. Donating your time? Definitely. Yes. Absolutely, to do good deeds for other people and around the world. Anybody else? How can you serve others? What does service mean? Yes. Right, you certainly can. You can use your talents to entertain other people. Absolutely. We all have so many opportunities to serve other people. But you know what? Sometimes service takes humility. Who knows what humility is? Yes. No? Yes. What's that? Treating someone like they're worth more than you are. Treating someone like they're worth more than you are. Yes. Feeling embarrassed. Feeling embarrassed. Now see, feeling embarrassed is humiliation. And humility is not thinking that somebody's worth more than you are. It's never putting yourself down and thinking that you're worth less than them and they're worth more than you. It's not putting them above you, it's putting them before you. It's not thinking less of yourself, it's thinking of yourself less and other people more. And so you don't have to put yourself down and degrade yourself and think that you're less to be humble. Humility is simply having that confidence like we talked about, we all know what confidence is, having that and believing in yourself and understanding that you're perfect the way that you are and so putting those thoughts aside and deciding now I can focus on other people. Now I can figure out how I can serve other people. Because guess what you guys? There is someone somewhere in the world who always, always, no matter what, will have it worse off than you do. Sometimes you can be having a really, really bad day and it feels like nothing else could possibly go wrong and you feel like the worst off person in the world, but there's always somebody who has less than you do. See this bracelet that I wear on my left hand? That's pink and white. A um, month ago, I was in Germany, and in Germany, the children's hospitals there take in kids your age to the hospitals who have been injured in Iraq and Afghanistan where the wars are going on. And so we went to a children's hospital in Germany and there was a young boy there who had been injured in Afghanistan in war-related violence there. And he had been back for several surgeries. He was on crutches. His legs were severely injured. He was back for another surgery. And he knew that I was coming, and he made me this bracelet. He beaded it for me and gave it to me. And I wear it always as a reminder that they, there is always someone who has it worse off than you do. And there's always a way that you can brighten someone else's day. That we have so many blessings to be grateful for. Living here in America, living here in Nebraska, having the opportunity to go to school here, all of these things, we can be so tremendously grateful for. And we can use those things to help other people and to serve them and to share with them that we always have the opportunity for service. So I want all of you guys to think of a way that you can serve someone today. Whether it be right here in school, or at home, or in your neighborhood or community. A way that you can put someone else first and use whatever talents or gifts or blessings that you have to help them.